All right, Shabbos, we'll say good morning. Let us begin. So we are picking up in Mirat Hashem on page Lamed Hey. I'm actually page Lamed Vav. So if you remember again, just a quick recap. So in Os Tes Vav, Reb Tzadik is speaking about the concept of a mitzvah. What does the mitzvah represent? So he develops the construct that a mitzvah itself is a schos. It's an incredible opportunity that the Rebbe Hashem puts in my way. I don't mean put in my way like as an obstacle. I mean that an opportunity that the Rebbe Hashem allows to become available to me. All too often we think of mitzvahs just simply as things that I do, things that I perform. But we don't necessarily think about the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one who is mazmin, who ultimately creates those opportunities for me. So says Reb Tzadik, Whenever you have an opportunity to perform a mitzvah, that is because the Ribbona Shal Olam has placed that opportunity before you. As a result, Rab Tzadik then continues to kind of create the hashkafa, an outlook around mitzvahs. Therefore, as a result, we saw the concept of nichnasin zrizos. If I recognize that indeed mitzvos are an opportunity conveyed to me and given to me by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, then by definition, when the opportunity presents itself, I must jump on it. I, I must act upon it immediately. There must be a certain sense of zrizos, of alacrity, of excitement, of zeal. Because you also think about this in just a moment. If a mitzvah is something that's an obligation, okay, so we all have obligations. I know that I have to get the job done. But love dafka, you know, not to say that, that I have an excitement. I, I, I know that I have to take out the garbage. That's, that's my job. But at the end of the day, the goal is just to get it done. How I do it doesn't really matter all that much. If I take it out with a smile on my face, with an excitement, I skip instead of walking. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. The goal is get the job done. But so sometimes we look at mitzvahs that way also. What's the, what's the objective? Get the job done. Fulfill the mitzvah. Says Reb Tzadik, if I recognize that a mitzvah is not just simply a job to get done, but rather an opportunity given to me by a Kodesh Baruch Hu, then there is a way in which I do it. It's, 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 it's very interesting. I, I'll tell you, I was thinking about this yesterday. We've learned about the concept of Zrizos many times, right? Remember again, we spend a good amount of time on the concept of Zrizos and what it means to be a Zariz. But it means to do things with a sense of zeal, a sense of alacrity. So what's interesting is, th- why? Like, so why do I have to act with this visa? So ours, isn't the goal just to get the job done? So if I get the job done, who cares? And ours, because remember, Zrizos, we often think of Zrizos, means like, I do the mitzvah, excuse me, in an expedited fashion. I get it done faster. But that's not what Zrizos necessarily means. Zrizos is an attitude, right? Zrizos is an attitude. Zrizos means an opportunity comes, I do it now. I do it now. It, it might still take me a very long time in the execution of the particular act. There's still be, may be a significant amount of time, but it's how I how I react to the opportunity. And I think many times we all know this. Why? Who cares how I react to the opportunity? Just get the job done. Ah, oh, so says Reb Tzavik. It's all about how you look at a mitzvah. If you look at a mitzvah simply as a task, a spiritual or religious task or duty that I have, then okay, get the job done. That, that, that's the goal, get the job done. But if I look at a mitzvah, I will say it's such a different way to look at life. If I look at a mitzvah as an opportunity which has been given to me by the Ribbono Shal Olam, then by definition, when that mitzvah comes along, my gosh, show me where it is. I'm going to run after it. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to get it. N- not because I need to get the job done, but because HaKadosh Baruch Hu has just given me a most magnificent gift, right? Isn't that the essence of Tzaddik? That a mitzvah represents the gift, and the greatest gift, the gift of opportunity that is given to us by Hashem. But when the Ribbon Hashem gives you the gift, gives you an opportunity, of course I run to it. Of course I run to it. We'll say it's, it's like, imagine, you know, it's your birthday, Mazel Tov. Somebody comes to give you a present. They hold out the present. You're like, oh, that's great. You know what? Just do me a favor. S- stay there for a couple of minutes. I'm going to be right back. Yeah, just keep the present outstretched there. I'm a little bit hungry. So just, do me, just hold it like that for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to grab a quick bagel, and then I'll, I'll come back out. Don't go anywhere. I love you. You're the best. Thank you. Just literally stay there. I know you might get a little bit tired. Just hold. <laughs> no one would ever do such a thing like that. That's just someone's giving you a gift. 
incredible. You take it. You take it, grab it. I don't mean grab it like you can get out of their hands, but grab it, go. So says Reb Tzadik, every single mitzvah, every single mitzvah is a gift from the Ribbono Shalom. And if it's a gift, then by definition, it must be received with a sense of zrizos. Such a different way to look. Now Reb Tzadik goes on and he adds in another component. Umandar Mitzvah, so let's remember again, still continuing, Reb Tzadik still building almost like an entire theology from the first page, right? Literally from Amad Aleph, Beis Amad Aleph, they're actually Daf Beis, Amad Aleph and Amad Beis in Mesechus Brachas. So remember again, the, there's another opinion in the Gemara. The opinion, the opinion in the Gemara said that when can you go ahead and recite Kriyashma from the time that the Kohanim, this is Kriyashma Shal Arvis, nighttime Shema, Misha Shakohanim Mitu Harin Le'echol Bitshuma. From the time of the Kohanim, the Kohanim are tahar to go ahead and eat truma. So we'll say, so remember again, now as we pointed out when we learned this Gemara a couple of months ago, every all of these opinions are saying the same thing. That the time, the time for going ahead and consuming truma is Tseisa Kohavim, is nightfall. They're all saying the same thing. But if Tzaddik is intrigued by the fact that they're expressing it in different ways, and he sees in the expression, he sees in the expression different hashkafic aspects as well. So there is this opinion that says, when could the Kohanim go in, when could the go, I'm sorry, when can you recite Kriya Shema Shal Arvis Nighttime Shema? Mishar Shat Kohanim Mitu Harin Lechol Truma. Plant the Kohanim are tar to eat Truma. Says Abba Tzadik, what do you learn from that type of verbiage, from that articulation? Look what he writes. Yeshlom Arbitosis. Divar Masl Mishar Hikshu Ayn Sham the Eishla Tarits Nichnas Hainu Hachana Ubishas Knisa Yikra. So we'll listen to this. So this 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 is really fascinating. He says that that well take a take a look take a look at take a look at the Biuri Hachasidos for just a moment. And the right hand paragraph about uh, sec, second paragraph on the right side, about uh, five lines in. He says, "Yeshlo marshatamu sheish the mar v'likro kriyasha od l'tnei koshak hanim nichnasim elikvar mishoshe mitu harim uruuyim lechol who api mashe yivuar tosis hikshua latana sovishim in kriyashma skipped in a little bit the yeshu tarets blifrosh has hadavar api am b'vor shalosh nichnas mora al hachana im kain yesh levair shemash alam mishash shani nichnas lechol ena kavana shani ocham mamish hayurak hachana." But ultimately, again, Manda Amr Mitu Harin. I'm just going to read just two lines. So, the Ain Penai Bishah Saknisa, she's Marachana. So, we'll say, so we're not getting into the technicalities here. What Reb Tzavik suggests is as follows that the Machlokis that's happening over here between the opinions in the Sechas Brachas, right? Remember again, one says from the time that, ka, that the Ani goes in to eat his meal, one says from the time that Kohanim go in to eat their Truma. One says ultimately again the time that the Kohanim are mitu harin tahar to go ahead and eat their truma. Says Rabbi Tzadik about say something absolutely amazing. See the lashon of mishash Kohanim mitu harin is actually quite interesting. From the time the Kohanim are tahar to eat their truma, not that they're eating it, but they're tar. Because remember again, there's two steps here. They first have to become tahar, which occurs at nightfall, and then they have to go in. Which says Rav Tzadik, if you think about, it, refers to the concept of hachana, of preparing ourselves for the performance of a mitzvah. That a mitzvah is not something you just simply roll into. A mitzvah is not just something you simply go ahead and suddenly decide to do. But a mitzvah requires preparation. A hachana. But if remember again, we saw this in Masechus Brachas by Davening, right? Where again the Gemara said. That Hasidim Harishonim, the early pious ones, would prepare for davening for an hour. Right? How you show in Shah Achas Kodim Atfila. They would prepare themselves for an hour prior to davening. I will say to yourself, prepare yourself, but just, just, just daven. No, the, the idea is said, that anything that is meaningful in life requires preparation. So, for example, for example, right, on a simple level, person has right you 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 have you have a big you have a big deal you want to close with investors right so no one goes ahead and just simply rolls out of bed and i, I would assume so i'm not a businessman so i would assume no one rolls out of bed right with uh you know their eyes half open disheveled 
right? Just say, okay, guys, I'm going to pitch you on that. I, I need to raise five million dollars in, in investment capital. Here, here it is. You prepare. There's a PowerPoint. You wake up. You have your cup of coffee. You put yourself together. You dress nicely. You prepare. You, there's a preparation that goes into that. Why? Because everyone knows that if you want to be successful in business, I, I, I would assume that you have to go ahead and be a prepared individual. Says Reb Tzadik. The same thing applies in our Ruchnius as well. Proper Ruchnius, proper spirituality, a proper spiritual experience requires preparation. And that preparation looks different ways in different mitzvahs. So we'll say, so for davening, let's say, it's ultimately, again, preparing myself, literally in the way that I dress, preparing myself ultimately, again, in my mindset, preparing myself in a variety of different things, whether it's, re- whether it's learning before davening to put yourself in the right mindset, sing tillin before davening, davening before davening, whatever it might be. But I have to prepare myself for the experience. You know, by the Hasidim, they have this, that if you notice again, if you have a Nusach Sfarad Siddur, so you often find that before many of the mitzvahs, for many of the brachas related to mitzvahs, there's often a Hinni Muchan Zuman, or the Shem Yichud Kudsha Brichu. That there's this notion in Hasidus, ultimately again to go ahead and prepare yourself. Before you go ahead, ah, you're about to make a bracha on a mitzvah, you're about to perform a mitzvah, whatever it might be that you don't have to say those introductory paragraphs but what it does is it puts me in the right mindset it's preparation so they're both saying so you begin to see the continuum if i truly believe like the Tzavik says that a mitzvah is a schus that a mitzvah is a great opportunity conferred upon con- conveyed to me by a kodesh baruch or a great schus then, but if I really believe that, that it's a gift, and Chesh Baruch was holding out the gift to me, so then that informs their performance. It's a number one a sense of zvizos, a sense of alacrity, excitement, zeal. Don't just get the job done, but get the job done in a way that shows that there's an excitement. Why is there an excitement? Because this is a gift from Hashem. And number two, hachana, preparation. Every mitzvah requires preparation. The preparation will depend ultimately, again, on the nature of the mitzvah. Sometimes it's how I dress. Sometimes it's giving myself enough time. Sometimes it's the l'shem yichud. Sometimes it's the preparatory acts that need to be done in order to assume, or in order to ensure that the mitzvah is done correctly. But every mitzvah requires sachana. All right, well, so we'll have to stop over here for today. We'll pick up Emirat Hashem with the end of Tes Vav tomorrow. Shkafim